So, okay, what are you teaching me today? Eggs with chickpeas and tomato sauce. I'm gonna do it in five minutes. I mean, that's revelatory because that's such a deterrent because when they say prep time 20 minutes, cook time 60 minutes, it's not realistic for a lot of people's lives. So listen, we have the pan, we have the oil, and you have garlic? I have garlic right here. Put the garlic on the, on the pan, and now talk to your garlic. Tell, hey garlic, how are you? How are you doing, baby? Hey, baby. How's it going? My kid's grandfather, Ari, that's what he always says. Hey, baby. The garlic is speaking back to you. And the garlic is telling you, oh, I'm so happy I'm cooking with Ru and Jose. It's amazing. I love garlic, the more the better. Okay, so in this moment, we put the chickpeas now. Roger that. Uh, this is actually great to buy a can of chickpeas, which are delicious, and usually they have very good price on the supermarket. I was gonna say, I think they're a very uh, healthy thing for people. And you have a vegetable book, and for vegetarians, they're a really satisfying, like, protein substitute. I love them. So you take a look at the chickpeas. They're so happy because they love to be with the garlic. People don't know this, but chickpeas and garlic, they are very friendly, okay? You have to lift up the temperature, put the higher temperature, bro. Oh, Jose, I'm so excited to tell you that I just did that. That means we're telepathically linked now. I'm in. So in this moment, this is very important. I will add a little bit more of oil to your pan. I love olive oil. Um, by the way, check this olive oil out. Oh, yeah. hang on, beauty shot. There we go. I love your olive oil. Thank you so much for sending it to that. us. Let's say you have fresh tomatoes. You can get a peeled fresh tomato and cut it in cubes. Or you have canned tomatoes and also works very well. Or you have any pasta tomato sauce that is already made. Everything I'm, works. I'm, you just make sure that you do whatever you have at home is what you use. I think that makes people less stressed in the kitchen. Thank you. Drew, recipes should be like life itself. When you don't have some of the ingredients, you just move on, change the recipe in your dishes or in your life, and you'll always be successful. That's a very important lesson in cooking. And in life. <laughs> Jose, look, I'm sizzling, baby. So now I have a can of a Spanish pimenton. Yes what we call paprika. If you have it, if you don't have paprika, put chili flakes. If you don't have, put cumin. If you don't, put whatever spice you have in your kitchen. Make the recipe your own. Oh, paprika, I love you so. And now I'm putting the tomato in. Because this tomato is already cooked, it's gonna be easy. I mean, I cannot prove that I am actually cooking with you. Oh, I, I I mean, when I told my daughters, they were like, come on, daddy, don't make fun of us. I said, I'm cooking with her. I'm cooking with her. Jose, how old are your daughters? I have three. Uh, Carlota, she's 21. Ines, she's 19. And Lucia, she's 16. So listen, this is very important. Now there's tomato sauce, the chickpea, everything is cooked. And I am putting inside four or five pegs. In this moment, you put some salt on the eggs. And ladies and gentlemen, you cover the pot, and now you can open a glass of wine, you can open yourself a beer, you can drink a sherry. So why I'm doing this one pot, Drew? Because very often, many recipes, they require three or four or five pots. You can make everything with one pot, no cleaning. This is great. I love one pot, I think it really helps people feel like they can manage if they're not, like, I'm just not that girl who's like, so, Betty, how was your day? I'm just stirring and casual. I'm like, <laughs> So one pot for me is, you know, a great way to cook that makes, that keeps me calm. This pandemic, I've been cooking a lot with my daughters and we did some cooking on social media. And quite frankly, we were doing it because it was fun, because we were spending so many hours, and we began sharing it with people. And 
was one of the best moments of my life to be cooking with my three daughters already. Man, I remember them first time I had them in my arms and I was crying just after they came up into the wall. And now 21 years later, I realized through this pandemic that there are these three grown up girls and to me, cooking with my daughters has been the happiest moment of my life. Look at that. Look at that beauty shot. And now I'm, I'm going to try it. OK. Tell me that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's good. The great thing about this dish is that you can make it your own in so many ways. You can cook it every time, and every time be a different recipe. You can put some mozzarella, you can put some manchego cheese. Ooh! Can... Topping it with put... cheese would like kick, kick it up a whole other level. You're right. And don't be afraid of trying new things. Always, you take risk. They will always pay off. <laughs> Jose. You make the world a better place and you help us be better people with your wisdom.